What's going on, guys? It is Golazio here. Welcome back to another FIFA 19 Blackburn Rovers career mode. Guys, we are not far away from the end of the season now. We are around 12 games, I think, left. Uh, so, quick look at the calendar. What I got coming up for you? I got Champions League today. I got another four games in the league. Obviously, this might be more of a Champions League fest, depending on how we go on in the first game today. But, of course, look, we've got April around the corner. And then we do have May. So only around three or four episodes actually left of the season now. So it's getting really exciting and proper into it. But uh, let's have a quick look at some monthly scouting reports. But just before that, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you do enjoy this video, hit that like button. Of course, if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. But uh, last episode, Zaniolo was injured. So he's now out for eight weeks, one of our star players in this actual side. But lucky enough, we got a few bit more depths with uh, Greilish and Brady Dak in that team. But, of course, a couple of episodes, episodes ago, we actually put a scout out. So hopefully we can get some decent players. Look at these players here, looking pretty decent. They're going to uh, auto-adjust the same player. He's looking pretty decent there. He might have 90 odd potential, but his value is pretty low. Another player there, which I'm going to reject. I'm going to reject these players. Usually, I just tend to ignore them. 110 grand. No, I'm going to actually sign him into my side. I'm also going to reject that guy as well because his potential doesn't look too exciting, if I'm truthfully honest. But a few Australian players as well that we are looking after. We've got to send a scout down there after a defensive minded player, if I'm correct. But not too many coming out of the woodwork at the moment, other than a few here such as Sam Hughes which just declined there but anyway hopefully that in developing something else because last episode in the transfer window as well we uh, signed a few uh, youth free agents so it'll be interesting to see how that goes but anyway let's uh, prepare the side to actually go up against uh, this Turkish team that we have been playing I'm actually going to leave Ben Brereton on the bench for now I'm actually going to uh, just leave him on there because I want to bring him on as an impact sub rather than actually a starting 11th a day. Um, what position am I changing? I'm actually bringing on Grey Leash. If I can find him, he's going to be jumping in that side. Travis, I'm actually going to put on the bench for Zaniolo, who unfortunately has been out injured. Joshua King as well. I want to bring back into the team. I'm actually going to drop uh, Dahlberg, who scored last episode. So guys, if you missed that, make sure you do check it out. Uh, Dawa Fry, I'm also going to drop as well for at Padju due to fitness. And I fit to have that extra fit player, if I'm truly honest, in that side rather than weakness there. But anyway, we do have three goal difference. So they have to score um, two goals. It doesn't make any difference. So we can concede twice if we want. And we'll still end up going through. If they scored three and we scored one, they end up going through. So we need to make sure that we just don't concede the two. Oh, two is the max limit. But anyway, let's get into this Tuesday, Wednesday night even. Oh, the Champions League. Perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. Derek Ray here in the commentary position. And I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. This really should be a belter of a game, Lee. Grey Leash. Oh, that's an exquisite ball. Play that back inside. Oh, that was meant to be a tap. That was meant to be a little tap. Short corner favoured. Is he going to punish them here? And there's the feed into the box. Oh, there it is. I think Joshua King has just ended his duck. 4 1. That's game over. I could just let it sim. And literally, they have to score three goals to actually beat me. That was Joshua Kane finally beating his duck in all fairness. He hasn't scored in a little while, but he's had a lot of chances. That was the biggest thing. But we put it in the back of the net. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, lovely. Bradley Dak. Flipped him. What a finish. Oh, my days. Yes. Come on. Run faster. I want you to run to the manager. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. I don't I just right. can't even talk. Look at that. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike. Probably one of my favourite well, goals go I've ever scored, that is. Scored. That's one of my faves. They cut on inside, onto the left peg. 
We keep had no chance. Five one on aggregate now. They now have to score four goals to get ahead to win. Look what he's doing. Well, they've been getting the ball. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? And they deal with the threat this time. Come on, Roas. And he's broken free. Can he be? Oh, here we go. Boom, Ben Breeden scores. Fourth goal in the Champions League. Come on. Easy. 6-1 on aggregate now. Let's just confirm it, Evan Ayers. Just put the final nail in the coffin, the old saying goes. Mark Rassi, to be honest, did all the work. And just uh, Ben Breeden slots it home. An awful lot of green space to run into. Oh. Come on. Yes. Five goals in two games of Big Ben. Oh, my days. The guy's incredible. I purposely tried to lay it off to him. I won't lie. That was gifted to him. That's an exquisite finish. That was. Someone get the lemons out. Oh. So he just made lemonade. What a finish. Come on. Five goals. He's got to be close to top goal scorer in the Champions League after two. Come on. What a result. We're into the quarterfinals of the Champions League with a very, very easy result. 7-1 on aggregate. Ben Brewton getting five goals over two games. That is mental. Absolutely mental performance. And he's come on as a sub. Both games. That's an incredible thing. He's come on as a sub. He hasn't started. He's come on and he's scored. This guy's incredible in the Champions League. So I want to see where he is in the top goal scorer spots. King and Brandy Dance scoring two brilliant goals today. Ben Brewton with man of the match once again. But that was probably the easiest way we could do. I'm interested to see how that goes because they that's ended 1-1 on aggregate. So it'll be interesting to see who we have in the Champions League. Oh, Barcelona's won in the final 16. So who will we be playing? It'll be interesting to see who we will be playing in a few weeks' time. But I want to see the top goal scorers for a moment. You're waiting for Champions League. Ben Brewerton is on five goals in two games. This guy is incredible. Honestly, if we keep going as far as I want to go, he'll be top goal scorer by the end of it because Lyon are through as well. Chelsea... Um, I don't know if they threw Barcelona through Inter or out now, so Icardi's gone. Um, so, yeah, Lenz as well is on five goals in ten games. So, absolutely brilliant from Ben Brewerton. I cannot deny that. But what I'm going to do now is actually sim this game against Everton. Um, don't think we need Bennett transfer made. Oh, if Bennett's gone on a pre-contract. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, off I'm going to offer Ben Brewerton. No, sorry, not Ben Brewerton. Um, edit... So we've had an offer in for Bennett. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, because I like having Bennett in my side, I'm actually going to just go to him, offer him a contract, and get some negotiation going on right now. Okay, that, do the loyalty. Do the loyalty. I'll, um, if he makes five appearances, I'll give him a mil as well. So, oh, I should use all my budget. Oh, my goodness. It's fair offer. I didn't realise that actually takes from your budget straight away, but... Elliot Ben, I put on a brand new contract for you know what's worth having him just just for pure depth. But we're out of budget, so we are done until next season now completely, aren't we? Um, but anyway, right, let's sim this game against Everton. Right, here we are. We are playing Everton now. I'm gonna try and stick with the same side that we played in Champions League because when I go in the next game, I want to kind of have a full fit side in all fairness. We do end up winning Ben Britton. Got himself a goal again. I'm going to have a quick look as well. What I want to do, I want to have a look at the top goal scorers in the Premier League because at the minute, it is going ridiculously well for Ben Brewerton, who scored five in the Champions League. He scored a couple in the actual um, Premier League as well, but I've actually been simming the games. <gasps> oh my goodness, we've gone back top of the table. Manchester United have lost. We are finally back top of the table. Absolutely brilliant there. We've finally turned it around. Is the Premier League on our books? But I want to have a look at this top goal scorer situation. Alfonso Davis is on 12. So he's one behind the top goal scorer spot. Let's have a look if we got anyone floating around that seven mark. We do. We have King who's on six. 
Ben Brewton, I honestly don't think he's too far away. I'm going to go into the squad hub right now. And I actually want to share with you the actual top goal scores from that front. I want to see where we're actually finishing. Let's have a look at stats. Let's have a look at our top goal scores at the minute. Let's go all the way to those forwards. Where are they? Let's have a look and see how good they are. Joshua King has actually scored. How many scores? Six in the Premier League, as we know. Mark Ross has scored three. Timothy Way has scored six. So he's kind of up there. Uh, not all who's going to be leaving us, unfortunately. Joe um, Ben Brierson scored three, so he's not as high as I thought, but nevertheless, four three goals in four games, and that's when we simmed him. So it's not too bad. He scored eight in six appearances this season so far, so really good from him. Of course, big, big uh, results in the actual Premier League. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to sim forward a little bit. I'm actually going to do a training session with Ben Brewton again. It maybe could potentially actually get him to 77 rate there, then, because he's close. He's close. He's not far away at all. I would say probably two more training sessions, or even possibly the next one, he'll be at that 77 rate. But anyway, let's have a look at the side we're going to go out with today against Watford, which, to be truthfully honest, should be a pretty comfortable win. It is time for the match. Martin Tyler here to describe it for you with my good friend Alan Smith. Yeah, hi there, Martin. Walking into the ground today, I've just got that feeling. Feeling it's going to... Well, we know the qualities of this home team today, Alan, don't we? They're so strong defensively. Best defensive record in the league. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front. Oh, the strong home side goes like this. Lovely. Joshua King. No, Joshua King, Alfonso. 1 0. Am I surprised? Of course not. We're top of the table. We're the best team in the league. And we're certainly showing it against Watford. Have a look at this replay. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Very fast game to start off with. It's a good cross. Yes, Ben with his fourth goal of the season in the Premier League is uh, ninth in six games. I know, mental. Bit of luck on our side, you will not deny that. To be fair, I aim for Joshua King. It was a good leap, a very good header initially from Ben Brutton, but just comes off the post and it's straight in the back of the net as the ball rebounds onto the star player at the moment. He is like a brand new signing since January. We brought him back. He's gone to Roma, developed a little bit, and the guy's incredible right now. Nice. Keep, hold it, hold it. Nice. Here we go, completely obliterated. On goal. Yeah. Easy as like. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. I, I did a weird shot then. I actually I pressed down LT and RB at the same time. And God knows what happened there. But it happened. Well, I was watching now. He kind of like it was a scuffy shot. But I was looking for a pass. I was looking for a pass. But nevertheless, it's gone in by the net. It is an own goal for Watford. We're three 0 up within 20 minutes. Okay. He looks as though he's not as healthy as normal. That's for sure. Yeah, he's been huffing and puffing about, hasn't he? But very little end product from him. And uh, his team are losing. I think that plays a big part. The fact he hasn't been involved. Here we go, Joshua King. Oh, chance. Oh, uh, 4-0, Ben Britton with another goal this season. That is his fifth, tenth goal since he's joined Blackburn at the end of January. Four goals in 40 minutes. This is a mental game. This is one of the best games I've ever played. That front three is scary. Look at that, cut on inside. Didn't stand a chance. Lovely. Another mistake from... Watford capitalising on that because that's what it seems to be at the moment. Mistake after mistake for Watford. Look there, another dodgy pass in the Braddy Dak. Oh, what was that? Hat trick. Hat trick for Ben Britton. Number six of the season. 
Come on, second hat trick as well in three games, four games even, I should say, for him. The guy, this is so amazing how well he's actually playing. He's a standout player, like I mentioned a few moments ago, before we made it 5-0. Mistakes on Watford, and we are capitalising on him. Like, look at that, it was a dodgy tackle, but the ball just falls to us. I don't know if Watford are bottom of the table. We'll have a look after this game who's bottom of the table. But there's a bit of deflection. It's gone our way. It's number three for Ben. Go on. Peterson. The shot's up. Oh, wow, completely against the run of play. Beaten near post. You know what was just rubbed salt in the wounds? I found out that Ben Brereton's goal was an own goal. How on earth can you give that? But Davis's wasn't. That's mental. 5-1, 54 minutes gone. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture. Ben Brereton looking for the hat trick this time. Oh, there it is. That's surely that's counted. Surely that is his goal. This t there it is. Two hat tricks for Ben Brereton now. One in the Champions League, one in the Premier League in four appearances. Absolutely ridiculous. What he is like, a brand new signing for us. That should be goal number four. Oh, lovely through ball. Bradley Dark. Didn't plan to do that, man. I won't lie. That was not my plan. I only played just in front of it. Went straight through to Bradley Dark. 7 1. 7 1. We've scored a goal every 10 minutes in this game. Well, this is Watford haven't had a break, have they? The Lovely through ball. It's an assist for Mr. Yeah, ben. And he's slotted in the top there. corner. Brilliant play. Absolute brilliant play. Travis. Oh, mate, you cannot deny the exquisiteness of this. Number four. There it is. I think that's an own goal. That might be an own goal, but I don't know. It's number eight. Like I said, every 10 minutes we are scoring a goal basically in this game and it, we've just run riot absolutely run riot is that classed as an own goal I think it has I think that is classed as, as an own goal that's two goals from Ben Burton now which have been denied no I don't know is that no it hasn't that's counting number seven number seven for Ben Burton this season. It's mad how the other one counted as an own it goal, but that one didn't, and I would do Davis's. Eight Brilliant. one, that game is finished, and that is the best performance I have ever put in on a football pitch. Four goals for Ben. He's had eight attempts. He should have had five today. He really should have had five, but that's his second hat trick in uh, four appearances for Blackburn. We need to have another look at the Premier League uh, stats now, because that's his seventh goal this season and also Alfonso Davis is back up there the guy's playing amazing and he starts this game so maybe we start him soon a couple of results around the ground the biggest one of course Manchester United winning once again Burnley Leicester we'll have a look at the league table as well just before we have a look at the top goal scorers and everything because I want to see where Watford were because we battered them God, yeah, I thought they were. I had a feeling Watford were near the bottom of the table because uh, nice to see Burnley where they meant to be. But we battered them. Absolutely ridiculous. Our goal difference must have taken a very good, hefty uh, little help in there. But it's still not as good as Manchester United, which is ridiculous in all fairness. They must be scoring an absolutely atrocious amount of goals. Um, but there we go. One point clear. And, of course, our nice 8-1 win against Watford. It's beautiful. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the top goal scorers in the league. Alfonso Davis is currently joint top with 14 goals. And do we have anyone kind of slotting in now? We should have... Uh... Oh, he's on seven. He's up there. Joshua King and also Ben Burton, they're there. They're in our top 25, but joint at the moment. i say he's probably least amount of games. So I'm shocked he's not up there further. But anyway, nevertheless, let's jump into a training session. Maybe... Ben Brereton could be 77 rated after this training session. Let's have a look. And he has. He's gone up to 77 rated after this training session by quite a bit. I'm not sure. No, he's only just tickled over there um, in that particular training session. But nevertheless, he's 77 rated, playing absolutely brilliant for us at the moment. Is he our new starting striker? To be honest, he's getting it. Absolutely getting it. England have offered us a job. You know, as a Welshman... I would love to take you to it. I would put Ben Burton in there, Joshua King. I've got quite a lot of English players in my side, which is really good. But I'm actually going to stall that off at the, at the moment because I think it might be interesting to consider taking it 
for next season potentially but what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it until next episode we'll look at that offer next episode i think that might be something i'll consider to be actually quite interested in, in all fairness but how on earth am i going to come back after that game honestly that is mental how that game went but i have to say we got fulham next which we're going to sim and then we got arsenal and then look at that barcelona in your way for Champions League, which is huge, absolutely huge. And we are closing down May. Oh my goodness. The Manchester United game, which is basically the main game, has been moved from the 17th to actually the 19th of May. Oh my gosh. This could be absolutely brilliant. But anyway, right guys, what we're going to do now, I'm going to sim this game. Is I need to figure out actually what I'm going to do with the side because... I need to play this Fulham game. Also, we got um, Arsenal next. So, I need to figure out what side I'm actually going to go out with. I'm going to leave Ben Britton off the team. Because I think Way will end up getting the job done, to be truthfully honest. Same goes for Wilson. I think you get the job done. Davis can play. Grey Leisha might be enough to start. And I'll leave the rest of the team the exact same. Because I think they'll be fine against Arsenal. Um, but I might rest a few more different players against Arsenal, if I'm truthfully honest. But anyway, let's sim this game against Fulham. Let's see how we go. Fulham in good form at the moment. Everton 2-1. Burnley 2-1. But to be fair, they are in the bottom three. So would I expect nothing less? But Fulham are doing pretty well. It has ended 1-1. Davis getting a very early goal. That means 15 goals for Davis this season. We'll have a quick look at that just before we jump into the Arsenal game. But what does this mean for the league? Have we dropped down... To second place because of course Manchester United are on very good form at the moment. Travis disappointed not to start. Sorry, mate, I'm saving you for the um, actual Arsenal game. But here's the lead table. We've been very fortunate there um, with that draw against Fulham. Seven draws, three losses, still one point clear of Manchester United. It's going to go down to the final few games, I think. But hopefully we can wrap it up a game before. I think that's the biggest thing. If we can wrap it up in that Man United game. That would be absolutely huge. That would mean so, so much. And finally get the Premier League trophy. That would be brilliant. But we cannot jump the gun yet. It is still so, so close. Coming to the closing stages of the season. But uh, let's have a quick look at the top goal scorers. Alfonso Davis, as you can see there, top goal scorer. Ben Britton, of course, didn't start in that Fulham game. Maybe I should have, in all fairness. But we've got a youth squad report actually coming in. Let's do a... See how our scouts are doing. 82. We're going to reject you. And we're also going to reject you. You look pretty good. By oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. No. We just found an absolute worldie. And I've accidentally rejected him. Because I can't actually sign anyone. So I have no budget. Oh, I can't believe that. Can't believe I just done that. Absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted about that. That's right. Anyway. Got in all that fact, we got Arsenal at the face. We got Barcelona just around the corner. I need to realise what side am I going to go out with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the side that I want to go face Barcelona. And then I'm going to create a side I'm going to face Arsenal. Let me show you. These are the two sides I've actually made. So thinking ahead now against Barcelona, I've rested basically all my players. Other than Noski, which actually I need to change. For truth be honest, we're going back to the other side. Uh, the other formation that we was playing um, quite recently in all fairness, which we started with at the start of the season. But this is a side that we're going to be facing Barcelona with, which, will we, which we will feature in next episode. But this is the side I'm going to go out with against uh, Arsenal today. Wilson, Wade, Chapman, Bennett in the side, making his first appearance this season. Barry Bannon, Travis, uh, Noyu, Lenian, uh, Fry, Naby. Savar in goals. Of course, the only change is Savar. But anyway, we're going to use our side um, to actually go in against. And I think, to be fair, it's still a really strong side, to be truthfully honest. So it should do pretty well. But anyway, let's jump in this game against Arsenal and see how we do. Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today. home side the 
chance he's created in that 1-1 draw, so uh, they need to do better, but uh, wouldn't be surprised to see level scores at the end of this match. Here's Wilson. Travis. Barry Banner. There's some potential in this move. Lovely play, Timothy Waite. Oh, it's blocked. Good tackling. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. What a save. So, so lucky to get into that position. Vea, Silvan's keeping us in this game. Keeping us in this game so, so much. Here's Bennett. Here's Chapman. Shots on here. Yes, come on! 84th minute, Marco Roas has scored the winner. That is easily, come on. Impact sub, impact sub, baby, impact sub. That's how it's done, that's how it's done. Someone someone tell me, I honestly thought we were going to go down to second last this game. I thought that's that's what's going to happen. We're going to go down to second. Oh, my goodness. Got it. Absolute got it. And also for the last... 20 minutes have put pressure and pressure. After the initial Roas chance a few months ago, they've been on us since. But he scores. Yes, there it is. We've beaten Arsenal. Maintaining our first place position, now is breathtaking. Now was. I, like I mentioned a few months ago, the 20 minutes from the initial Roas chance to the goal he scored was Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. And some of the save that Savar was pulling off, he deserving of a clean sheet. I want to have a quick look at the clean sheets, actually. There's one thing I haven't looked at. It's got to be close to double figures or near the top of the table, surely. But we do concede a lot of goals. That's one of the things. We do concede a lot of goals in this uh, career mode. But anyway, 1-0 the black. But Manchester United are yet to play, but we are top of the table, four points clear, but they'll probably win their game because they, ooh, who are they playing? I don't know who they're playing actually. It says Arsenal on, on there, um, but I'm not too sure. But they did recently lose to uh, Spurs, but we'll wait and see what actually happens on that forefront. But I want to have a quick look at actually some of the clean sheets and stuff in the, in the Premier League, uh, just because we are doing so well in the Premier League at the minute. Like we turned it around to what we were doing, so it's absolutely incredible. But anyway, so look, Premier League. Davis currently joined top scorers. Sane's come out of nowhere. No one currently up there at the moment on those seven goals. Of course, we do have Ben Brereton, Ton Ali with eight assists, Bradley Dak on six this season. Anyone else kind of flown up in our top twenty-five? We do. Um, no, we don't actually. That's it. Oh yeah, we do. Davis. Uh, kind of sinking in at the bottom there. But 13 clean sheets for Savar this season. Hopefully he can pick up a couple more and uh, get in front of Manchester United, uh, which would be absolutely crucial. And that'd be good because we could have, hopefully, top goal scorer, most assists. I don't think we get most assists, actually. Um, Tonali potentially could get it. But clean sheets and top goal score will be absolutely brilliant. But anyway, guys, that I have to say... This has been an exciting episode in the Blackburn Rovers career mode. An absolute massive 8-1 win against Watford. Uh, next episode, we go into the Champions League, as you can see now, and we play the double against Barcelona. Hopefully, we can advance to the quarterfinals. That'll be absolutely huge. We play uh, Burnley as well. We play Manchester City. Absolutely huge games uh, coming up for Blackburn. And then we enter, actually, the final month. Then, after next episode where we play Stoke, Brighton, Southampton, Man United and Wolves. Interesting to see how the final day of the season will go. I think that result, because Manchester United is basically the decider. Well, interesting to see what else actually happens there. But anyway, guys, my name is Golazio. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, hit that like button. Of course, if you're enjoying this series, hit that subscribe button, because we're definitely going to be doing a season four um, before FIFA 19 is up, because I think I'm loving this career mode. And I think season four... Whatever happens, whether we're in the Premier League or the Champions League or however it goes, I want to sign players that I think, you know what, I want to make this team the best as it is. And I might make a few unrealistic signings, but I want to make it fun. I want to make it enjoyable. But anyway, thank you very much for the support. It's been absolutely amazing. And uh, guess what, guys? I'll see you next time. Bye -bye.